with um, A7 learner. All right, today we are going to be looking at particle model of matter, and then we will look at, um, particularly we're going to look at liquids. Yesterday we were supposed to look at solids, so I will send those, uh, uh, those uh, slides so that you can see that one also. So today we are going to look at particle model of matter and how uh, liquids behave. So liquid is one of the matter. So we'll look at that. So by the end of the day, it's expected that you should be able to list the macroscopic properties of a liquid. You should be able to describe the mic microscopic properties of a liquid in terms of what the particle model of matter. You should be able to explain the micros macroscopic properties of a liquid in terms of its microscopic properties. And then we should be able to compare liquids and solids. All right. Now, so before we start, I like to uh, uh, remind you of some terminologies here. Okay. So a model, uh, model is one of the terminologies that we will come across, and a model is simply a visual representation of something that we cannot see. And then we we'll also look at solid, and a solid is a substance when it when it has a fixed shape uh, that cannot be changed. And then we we'll also look at a liquid. Uh, it's a substance, it's a liquid when it can be poured and takes on the shape of a container. We can also be looking also at gas, it's a substance that fills any space and cannot be seen, uh, but sometimes there are exceptions. And then we we'll look at diffusion. Diffusion is a process in which particles in liquids and gases move from a highly concentrated to a lower concentrated area of those particles. So it's a, a, a brief Example is when you have a perfume at home. So if you stand or you stay at one corner of the room and you spray, and then there is another person at the other corner or at the end, that person will feel the, the, the spray. Uh, where you are and you spray is a concentrated area. So it will begin, the particles will begin to move to where it is less concentrated. And that is basically diffusing for you. And then heating occurs when an energy is added to a substance and there is a rise in temperature. Okay, so, and then I will just jump to macroscopic and microscopic. So macroscopic is what we see with the naked eye and experience with our heart senses. So if you can see, you can smell, you can taste, then we are talking of what macroscopic. Microscopic is what we cannot see with the word unaided eye. So hence, we're going to use what uh, the visual representation so that you can understand the behavior of what uh, the behavior of liquids. All right. So how are particles of a solid arranged? So the particles of a solid are arranged in an orderly way with small spaces between them. Okay. Now let's look at the concept. So the concept of the particle model of matter. Is every is every is the same thing everywhere. So atoms and molecules are referred to as what particles in the particle model of matter. Now the particle model of matter is a scientific theory used to explain that all matter into brackets, solids, liquids, and gases is made up of what particles. So you must take note. Anything that is found on planet Earth is matter, be it liquid, solid, and gases. And these ones are made up of what particles. All right, these particles are too small to see. So in a drop of water, there would be what? Many billions of water particles. And the spaces between the particles are empty. Note, these spaces do not contain air, they contain nothing. All right, scientists have evidence that suggests that the particles are arranged differently in a solid, a liquid, and a gas. So in liquid, the particles are what loosely arranged, but still quite close together. In liquids, the particles can move quite fast and slide past each other. In liquid also, uh, the particles have what weaker forces between them. And, in a, and the particles also have what small spaces between them. So at least you should be able to know these properties for in regarding the particles of liquid. All right, if you can know all of them, it will be better or... Uh, Hello, everyone. 
minimum three and maximum four. They are a lot better. I've just summarized them to you. Okay, now let's look at the word macroscopic properties of liquid and microscopic properties. So when we are talking of what macroscopic is, what our five senses can feel. We can see, we can touch, we can taste, we can hear. Now matter can exist in a liquid state. One, we can see that liquids are running. I mean, we, liquids can run, they can flow. Some liquids are more running than others. So in terms of what viscosity, if I have a what diesel and then water, you see water can flow or run faster than diesel. Okay, a liquid has a definite volume. Yes, a liquid takes the shape of its container. Liquids are not easily compressible, meaning we cannot compress liquid. So if you have a, a box, a box of chalk which is empty, you can compress it. But liquid, we cannot compress a liquid. All right. Now let's look at what microscopic properties of a liquid. In a liquid, the particles are loosely arranged but are still in contact. We don't see that, but this model can be able to explain to us. Uh, they are constantly moving and sliding past each other in all directions, have weaker forces between them and have what, small spaces between them. Okay, all right. Now, guys, I hope you are hearing me. Now, let's look at, um, so we have got this diagram here, orange juice is like a liquid which can be poured, so you see that. Now, what, let's look at what happened there. From the diagram above, it can be observed that liquid can flow and can be poured from one container to another. Liquids do not have a definite shape, but they do have a definite volume. They take on the shape of the container they are in. So you see, so this is a, a, a glass, a wine glass. So uh, liquids don't have a shape, but they will take the shape of the container. So if you pour it in there, it will assume that shape. All right, now weak forces exist between liquid particles, but the forces are still strong enough to keep the particles in contact with each other. Liquid particles do not have fixed positions that move freely around. So if you compare this point to that of solid, we will see that solids have what a fixed position. Now liquid particles slip and slide past each other. So that's why they can what flow. All right, guys, if I'm, are you, can you hear me and am I too fast? If you can hear me, you tell me. If I'm too fast, you let me know. My learners, I'm asking you if you can hear me, just okay. And am I too fast or I'm, I'm just moving according to your level? Not too fast. Thanks very much. I like to hear that. Okay, so let's continue. So the diagram we have seen above is to tell us that we can pour liquid from one container to another. Liquid can easily slide with amongst each other. Uh, they have got weak forces between the molecules or particles of water. But when we compare solid and liquid, the particles in solid are, the forces of attraction are very strong. So you must take note of that. So I'm talking about point C. Weak forces exist between liquid particles, but the forces are still strong enough to keep the particles in contact with each other. Okay. Then the last point is the liquid particles slip and slide past each other. That's great. Now let's go to the next slide. Yes. Now when we look at liquids, the particles in a liquid have small spaces between them, but not as small as in what solid. The particles in a liquid are loosely arranged, which means they do not have a fixed shape like solid, but they rather take the shape of the container they are in. So basically, that is what we are seeing here. So these yellow balls or cycles that you are seeing are just illustrating how the particles of the water molecules are shown or they are. So as you pour, you can see the spaces between them. They are even small or near, but not as very small as solid. So we are pouring this. So number one, you can see these particles falls down due to gravity. Number two, an opening is left. You see that. 
Number three, the next particle can move into the opening, leaving a new behind so that they can flow. Okay, the speed at which the particles move around and move around inside the liquid depends on the energy of the particle. When we heat a liquid, we are giving the particles more energy and speeding them up. You understand this? So let me give you a scenario which you can understand here, which is saying that uh, when, you, when we heat a liquid, we are giving the particles more energy and speeding them up. Uh, a typical example is when you are doing what? You are heating water with a, a pot on a, an, on a hot plate or on a hot stove. You see that uh, when the boiling point reaches, you see bubbles moving up and down, up and down, up and down in a very random manner. So that's what we say. When we heat the liquid, we are giving the particles more energy and speeding up. So when you remember we said kinetic energy is the energy in motion. So the energy that these particles are having and they are speeding up is basically what kinetic energy. All right. Now, so you know the last point says we will compare the liquid and solid. Yes. So let's take a look at this picture of the particles in a solid. For a typical example, it can be table salt. You will see that they are packed in a regular pattern. They are very small spaces between the particles in the solid. Very, very small as compared to that of what the liquid. Even though in liquid the spaces are small, but they cannot be compared to solid. So take note, the spaces in solid are very small. You can say very, very small. But the spaces in liquid are small. We cannot say they are very small. So take note. Particles are held together by what forces of attraction. So in solid, there are forces of attraction. In liquid, there are forces of attraction. But take note, the forces of attraction in solid are more and are strong compared to what that of liquid. So the forces of attraction in liquid, we will say they are weak. Okay, then let's continue. So particles are held by forces of attraction. In solid, these forces are strong enough to hold the particles firmly in position. Does that mean that the particles in the solid do not move at all? No, the answer is no. The particles in solid move a little bit. In fact, we can say they vibrate in their fixed position. The more energy that the particles have, the faster and more strongly they vibrate. Take note. Do you see we have used the particle model of matter to explain the properties of solids that we can observe? Yes. For example, the particles in solid. So you see. So the first one is macroscopic view of sodium chloride. So that, that is a crystal table salt. It's what you can see, you can touch. So tables of crystal are hard and have a fixed shape, you can see. Now, what can we not see? We have what is called that microscopic view of sodium chloride. Can you see how the chloride atoms, purple, alternate with the sodium atoms yellow in a fixed arrangement? Yes. So basically, this is what we are seeing in solid. So you have, let me just go back so that you will see the arrangement of that one in liquid and just come back here and see the arrangement in solid. So you see, you see how they are, and then you will see here. Okay. Now, um, before we continue, yes. So I want us to do basically uh, an assessment for those who cannot log into Kahoot, and then we will do them here. We will do the assessment, we will do the correction, then we will migrate or move again towards Kahoot. So, but for now, before we do that, I would like to ask you or if you have any question or you have an explanation to add or you want me to explain, please just send your questions to the chat box, then I will address them, then uh, we can continue. Waiting, guys. Any question before we continue? Any question?
Okay. All right, I can see that somebody saying no. Okay, so cool. All right. Let's continue then. Now, look at this. So let's go on. What is the property of a liquid? How do the particles of a liquid move? Why are liquids runny? Does a liquid have a fixed volume or a fixed shape? Few in the missing words. The particles in dash are, so let's look at question one first. So if you can, if we can do question two, question one and two, then after we can go to code so that basically we will have the same questions for question three. You will find them there so that we will just go straight away and then we'll do our stuff. Okay. All right. So let's get going. 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 Are you guys there? Or my learners, are you there? 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 Yes, we are here. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's just do question one and two, or if we can finish question three. But if there is no time, we can quickly move to Kohut. Basically, we will have some of the questions that we'll also address here. But I'm doing this assessment so that those of us who cannot sign into Kohut, you shouldn't feel left out. So it means you have also done something. And then if we go to go to, you can also do that. It, it will just be an added advantage. Okay. All right. Let me see whether there is a question here. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're continuing. Today, the, so today is Angelina, Bright, Mien, Lee, uh, and okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Yes, let's get going, guys. Okay, my Lena, let's get going, my Lena. So, okay, I should explain which one. Uh, Molay, which one should I explain? Which point or which, which point? Should I explain? Oh, it's okay. All right. Okay, that's cool.
Are you winning? All right. Sometimes typing is a problem. You don't type. Okay. So just relax and then. Um, all right. I can see. All right, so So question one is saying what is the property of a liquid? So we looked at them. How do the particles of a liquid move? You remember I was explaining the point. Why are liquids running? And does a liquid have a fixed volume or a fixed shape? If you are done, you can post in so that we will see. All right. Uh, please be fast so that we can move to Kohut. All right, you are done. Okay. I can see some of you. Uh... You can wait. All right. So if you are done, let's move and you see the corrections before we go to our learning and yeah so this is what you have what is a property of a liquid a liquid is running and can flow a liquid also takes the shape of a container it is in to take note so all these three when they say what is a property of a liquid or give any property of a liquid one the liquid can flow is running it takes up the shape of the container it is in it's not having a fixed shape so if it, you pour it into a cold drink bottle it will take it if you pour it into uh, another spotlight bottle it will take the shape of the container so let's go on uh, how do the particles of a liquid move the particles of the liquid move by sliding over each other in all directions 
So question two was saying, why are liquids running? And two, uh, A was, why are liquids running? B says, does a liquid have a fixed volume or a fixed shape? These are the answers. The liquid particles are able to move more freely and slide over each other. A liquid has a fixed volume that takes on the shape of the container it is in. All right. Now, uh, so how many marks did you get for question? Let's, let's just concentrate on one. Question one, did somebody get, so one is two marks, one A, two marks, one B, two marks, that's four marks. So did somebody get that right? Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands, at least if you got that one or two. Okay, somebody is there. They are full marks. Yeah, I'm shining for you here. Keep it up. All right, that's great. Now, it's time for us to migrate to Kahoot uh, so that we're gonna basically okay so we, the lesson summary if i'm going to follow the lesson summary we are not going to enjoy our lesson the time so let me quickly i got number one wrong but everything is right yeah keep it up okay all right okay so Yes, guys, can you see my slides? Yes, sir, we can see. That's great. So the next thing we're gonna play, we're gonna play, we are playing. So then, so the pin, I'm just loading on. So the pin will come and you log in as you always do. Yeah, those of you who were couldn't wait, this is the time. I hope you are very happy now. Yeah. So ready to join? Yeah. Loading, loading, loading here. So this is your number. So the number to the number is five four two four zero nine six. So this is the pin. Yes, I'm waiting for my learners who are players at the same time here. Yes, what pele? Figile? Yes, I'm waiting for. Angelina, you are here. I'm waiting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I get in? Do I use Google? Eh? Do I use Google to play? Uh, you can go to Google and sign in. Okay. Does it so use a link? Yeah, you can, you see that it's, it's written on the screen that join at www.cohoot.it, eh? Okay. Yeah, so when you log in there, you will use this thing, and then you can join. Okay. 
Yeah. So go to Google and then type in www.kahoot.it or if you have the Kahoot app, you can just also use this pin and go in and log in. All right, I've sent the pin so those guys you you uh, you can also join in. I've got only two. Nien, why are you saying no? You didn't get the pin. I'm still waiting. Lenas, are you able to get them? I have Angelina. I have Wapele. No, just go to Google. Go to Google and type www.kohoot.it. It works. Try it again, Mien. Okay, so the next minute, if our dear other learners cannot join us, then we will play and then you will join us as we go on. When you join us, we can play again. I have only two players. Where is uh junior we are waiting for junior waiting for junior waiting for bright angelina is yeah thank you who you are here Moli, he, where are you where is Moli? He, okay If I can get another one person, very good. We can continue now. We are four out of uh, out of six. Okay, all right. Now let's do it. We are playing now. This thing. Mm. Are you ready? Yes. So let's go on. First question. Reflection is. Oh, guys, wait, 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 wait. I think there is a mistake here, okay? All right. Uh, we're doing, uh, okay, all right, no problem. Let's continue. All right, I'm not, okay. Nobody got this. Let's go to the next question. I'm sure. Uh... Mm. Guys, this is a wrong game. This is a wrong game. It's a wrong game, guys. Let me check this one. Let me quickly check this.
Please, guys, I think you, you have to rejoin. There was a mistake. Rejoin, rejoin again. I gave you the wrong game. Sorry, sorry, my learners. Sorry, 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 sorry. I apologize. Can you see this? I gave you the wrong game. This is the pin. The pin is three six two three two five zero. I'm sorry, my learners. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I've given you the pin is 3623250. So please just join again. Sorry, so I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I hope I've, I've taken the, I've selected the correct games here. So let's play, let's play. Are you ready? Yes, let's see. How, oh, now. Nah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see the number of people who got this. That's correct. Let's quickly finish this and then let's go to the X. It always moves from Okay, let's see. One person got this one, right? Let's see how fast. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go to it. Let's go to the next. Uh, guys. I have selected the wrong game again. So it can be no, 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 eh? no, 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 no
Okay, six minutes we are, we are going. Okay. Right. Let me see the one who is going to join first. Okay, Angeline, you are here. Let's do this. And after we are gone. So the the pin again is three, four. Three zero two seven six. Am I Lena? Am I still here? Okay, I can see Butler. You are welcome. Oh, Pele was already here. Angelina too was already here. Okay, so the rest will join us on the way. Let me see whether. Yes, let's go. Hi. Yeah, I think this should be it. Yes, this is the very good. This is the correct one. The change of a substance, yes. I got it right now. All right, so two people got this right. Let me see those who got it and how fast. Yes, Angelina and Junior. Let's quickly go to the next question. Two. Second, what? second, you tell me what's the pin? The pin, oh, I sent it to, the pin is 3430276. 3430276. Three, Did you get that? Yes, sir. Three, three, four, three, zero, two, seven, six. Did you join now? Yes. Okay. That has a definite volume, but no definite shape. Let's go to got this one right. Let's see. Yes, who's left? And so you see on the front, I'm, fake. I'm not getting anything right. Look, look at me. I have a zoom. <laughs> I have a zoom. Who am I talking to? Oh, I'm sorry. Look down. The pin is there. Can you see the, the screen? Yes, I'm saying that I'm not getting anything. I have zero because this one and, is making me... Yeah, don't worry. You will get the next question. Don't worry. You will get it. Don't be too much depressed. Now, this is another one for you. Is helium in a balloon, a solid, liquid or gas? This one, you can get it. I trust you to get it. Yeah, the clock is ticking. Let's go. Yeah, you're getting it. You're getting it. I know you are going to get it. Yeah, everybody got it. So you are happy now. Let me see the one who got it first. Yes. It's Angelina uh, Bootley Jr. followed by what? What Taylor. So guys, let's do the time. Let's do um, two or three and then we will go. The particle model of mother suggests that. So let's see, look at them. You should get, you should get it. The answer is there. A particle model of matter suggests that. All are correct. So let's see those who did that, who got it and then. Yes, okay, it's Angelina. So the next three or mm -mm, next two, what are the characteristics of a liquid? Yes, we did it. You should get this one. 
one more last one then we will go because the time is getting almost up very good yes we got this one right okay so guys uh, sorry to say guys lena uh it's time uh or we should continue but you are going for another you are entering another class now so we will we will we will call it then uh tomorrow we will we will play this game because there are 20 questions bye guys bye, bye. I apologize for mixing up the the, the questions, man. Thank you. Sir, sir, sir. You see now, look at me. Look at me. Sir, I was sick and so. Uh, don't worry, don't worry.